Welcome to this podcast, Grace for All, produced by members of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. It is our hope that these brief daily devotions will bring you comfort and peace. Thank you for listening. Today's scripture comes from the first chapter of John, the fifth verse. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A few years ago, I learned the story of St. Lucy, a girl who was martyred in the fourth century. Lucy, or the light, was offered in marriage to a nobleman at the age of 13, but she refused, having consecrated herself to Christ with the intention of giving away her dowry to the poor. Her sentence for disobedience was to work in a brothel, but reportedly when her captors came for her, she could not be carried away. She was given a second sentence to be burned at the stake, but her accusers could not accomplish this either. Ultimately, she was killed by the sword. Tradition teaches that Lucy, a follower of Christ, carried food to other early Christians who were hiding in the catacombs. She wore a wreath crown lit with candles on her head to light her way. It is said that she devised the wreath with the candles atop because she did not want to waste the capacity of her arms and hands. Instead of using a hand to carry a lantern or torch into the caves and tunnels, she could wear the wreath and deliver as much nourishment as she could with each trip, filling her arms with food. She carried the light of love and now she is venerated and celebrated around the world as a symbol of hope. Her feast day is December 13. Since I learned her story, I think about St. Lucy every Advent season. She inspires me, inspires us all, to be a harbinger of light. Isn't it a beautiful image to envision walking around with candles aflame, lighting the darkness, even as both hands are free to do the busy work of serving? That is the desire of my heart, to be like St. Lucy, even as I feel pressed on all sides, and even though it requires the repeated and continual surrender of my flesh, my earthly body, and selfish desires. Because when I feel pressed, crushed, threatened, my natural desire is to conserve, withdraw, and hide, to protect what is mine, to hold on tightly. Instead, God calls me to let go to free my hands, to use them to carry more and more grace into the darkness. Hope is never earned or claimed or grasped. Hope cannot be found by holding on tightly. It can only be received by letting go, by opening to what might be rather than clinging to what is. Our prayer is, light of the world, place your light on our heads and in our hearts, and empty our hands that we may carry and share more and more of your love and grace. Amen. Today's devotion was written by Greta Smith and read by Sally Stovall. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of the Grace for All podcast, a ministry of First United Methodist Church of Maryville, Tennessee. I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor, and I hope you've received a blessing today from this podcast. If so, please share it with a friend or on your social media accounts. Grace for All is written, edited, and produced by the lay members of First United Methodist Church. To learn more about our congregation and its other ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.